Can you hear that? What is that noise? Hello, Matthew Jeske here. I'm a real estate agent right here in Sarita, Arizona. Today, I'm gonna bust out the working clothes and working truck. We're gonna put in a little elbow grease. I've got a listing here that's about ready to close. We're gonna run down the street real quick and grab my marketing props out of there. What we're about to talk about is really a controversial topic. I've had clients literally pour hundreds of dollars straight down the drain because of this. I've also advised clients to be careful of this only for them to ignore the advice and end up with tens of thousands of dollars in repairs. It's vital you know of this one very common problem. You really have to sprint to get this stuff done. Can you hear that? What is that noise? Sounds like that is coming from upstairs. Let's go up and take a look real quick. Yep, I think I know what this is. So what we have here is a bad toilet float. These things go out all the time. $15, five minutes, you're done. If you can screw together a garden hose, you can do this. All right, it's super simple. Get yourself a new hose. I always recommend replacing that hose and a toilet float. Turn off valve to toilet. Flush toilet and empty reservoir. Unscrew supply line from toilet and wall. Unscrew toilet float. Installation is pretty much the reverse of removal. This step is absolutely vital if you're vacating your home. I had a client that didn't want to do this. Her house flooded and it cost her $30,000. So listen carefully. This is our water line going into the house. The valve closest to the spigot and the wall is to turn off the water to the house. Do that. You no longer have pressure to the house and you can relieve the existing pressure by opening the spigot. Now when you return to turn the pressure back on, it's good practice to slowly move the valve so you don't have a sudden burst of pressure. Little trivia, this second valve here is if you have an irrigation system to your house. That way you can turn off the house, but leave the drip system on. Part of being in this pandemic means there's no maids to come and run a vacuum. I've been having to run the vacuum every now and again because it's absolutely vital. My listings are broom clean. We're gonna talk a little bit more about that in the next video. So make sure you subscribe. I wouldn't want you to miss out.